Okay, here we go. Normal distribution. So Rika suggests that the cost of office space in London can be modeled by normal distribution of mean 50 and standard deviation 10. So first things first, always say that X is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 or variance of 10 squared. Okay, that's how we always write this down. So it's always in the format of mu and sigma squared. Where mu is the mean, sigma is the standard deviation. All right, we're going to ignore F because we've done it previously in a different video or earlier. So use Rika's model to estimate the 80th percentile of the cost of office space in London. So what this actually means, the 80th percentile? This is telling us that all the data up to to 80 up to a certain value was 80 percent. In terms of normal distribution, this is the function at some 80 percentile, and it must have equaled 80 percent. That's how we begin it. This this Q this is actually a cumulative frequency. It can also be written as the probability of x less than or equal p, which equals 80 percent. The key idea here is to simply look at the table for the 80 percent value, and then simply just match it with the inside of this. But to do this first, let's rewrite this as the correct normal distribution format. So this would be probability that Z is less than or equal than P minus the mean, which is 50, over the standard deviation, which is 10. And again, this equals 80%. And the value inside the table, which corresponds to 80%, the Z value is equivalent to that. So first, so let's have a look at the Z value, the Z, the table, and find the 80% mark. So according to this table, we have to find where is 80%, or in this case, uh, we need to find 0.800. Or the closest. So the closest one I can see was around here. You won't find it, but it's super close. This seems to be the closest value, 0 0.7995. And that corresponds to the Z value of 0 0.84. So 0 0.84, that cross-references. So going back to the table, so this means this equals to roughly 0.8. Ish. It's kind of hard to get because it's very tight. So then we just say, therefore, all of that value p minus 50 over 10 must equal 0 0.84. Then you just solve it times 10 across and then add 50, and you should get about um, so about 50. Do, do, do. So, yep, so 58 pound 40 ish. Three cinnamon figures, yeah. Because that's all we can do and that's it so this represents the 80th percentile so this is ahead of the mean yeah so it makes sense if this was on a bell curve if the mean here is 50 the 80 percent and this is also bang in the center because it's according to the model we saw before the median for this case is also the mean this was this was in reference to part f and the and the and the percentile is around here 58.4 and this looks like i don't know about you but this looks like an 80 percent mark and this is probably just a little 20%, which is values greater than, yeah? So up to here, up to 80%, this, 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 this manages, up to 80% would be 58.4. And that's it. That's what we need to know from here. If you've got any questions about how to deduce or any other problems, always first write the function of um, P. So this is the cumulative function up to the percentile. That's equivalent to X less than or equal P. And then you just work your magic and you should be done. Anyway, guys, see you. And that's it for question two. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one.